what is up guys welcome back to another fred gaming youtube video and today we are going to be talking about piggy chapter review on um you know zizzy's distraction chapter now this chapter was really 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 epic and i hope you guys enjoy this video as you guys can see super junior base is right over there um he is playing along with us so make sure you subscribe to his channel and you subscribe to my channel all the links will be in the description to his channel and my channel so make sure you subscribe to all of those channels down below and uh drop a like if you enjoyed the video because it really helps me and gives me motivation to keep making some piggy videos so let's get into this video all right um now let's do this uh you guys know the drill um first is the skins and then is the map design, uh, cutscenes, gameplay. So let's get into Piggy's chapter review. Now, um, also, if you guys didn't know, Super Junior Bates is also making a video on his channel um, with his predictions. Not his predictions, but the review on the chapter. So yeah, that, that's pretty cool. We're going to have a chapter 12 uh, chapter prediction uh, probably next video. But anyways, without further ado, I know you guys want to see my prediction, so let's get into it. Okay, so uh, where do we start? Let's start about the skins. Um, the two skins, well, one skin, but two characters are Zizzy sisters. So Z and Zuzi are the two skins in the map. So they are twins. They're one skin, not two. Uh, just Z and Zuzi. They're like one skin. They have some pretty cool animations. Not gonna lie, as you can see, um, they're right over there. They they are actually pretty cool. They're like, the, the theme is awesome. The theme is awesome. So I give this, you know what? I'm going to do rating this time. I, I'm pretty I'm pretty good at ratings. Um, I'll give this a 9 out of 10. The creepiness is very awesome. I like how it's all like muffled and stuff. They're very creepy and not like the actual zines usually. They're very, like, you know, very creepy, I would say. So I give the skins a 9 out of 10 because they're awesome. Um, next, on to the map design. And as you can see, I'm in the game right now. They did a lot to the refinery. A lot of people uh, think like, you know, there's some games out there that remake chapters and they're horrible. Like the, like the Sword of Memory uh, School or the Sword of Memory City. And they're not too great, they're not too designed. But this, my friend, is very designed. Like look at these panels on the bottom. Look at this like, you know, all the refinery stuff is still there, but yet again, there's a very cool uh, things that are not there. Like these like, like parts, like, you know, like distorted, like memory parts. And uh, not to mention there's some extra rooms if you unlock some doors, which is very, very awesome. And he also made the lighting a lot better. Map design, I give a solid 10 of 10. I think he did a good job of what he had. And he made a lot of things rusty and very creepy. And uh, Minitune's getting better and better every day at making creepy things. Because for at first, it wasn't very much his thing. Now it's starting to become his thing. As you can see, in the new room right here. And, yeah, the, there's a new room here. Uh, this is also a new room. There's a jump scare. And the cool thing about the jump scare right there is that, you know, it turns black and white after you die, which is um, kind of a sign that you just sadly oofed. Now it is the gameplay. The gameplay. So 10 of 10 on the map design and a 9 of 10 on the skins. I really think they're really good skins, you know, some quality skins. And overall, pretty good. So uh, let's get actually get into it gameplay the gameplay i thought was uh it was basic i actually <sighs> to be honest the gameplay was probably the worst thing about this i don't think it had too much it's basically the refinery there's all the same keys the only thing that was different in this chapter is the candle and we already have the candle like compared to the heist map this there's not very good mechanics i feel but that's just my opinion you guys can put your opinion in the comments again leave a comment um on what you guys think because um it, it's not just my opinion is you guys have an opinion as well and i would like to hear it so um yeah the map design was great but i don't think the gameplay was too good um it, it's kind of bland like the gameplay is kind of bland it's the same thing as a refinery we know the keys and locks and doors 
the only thing I do like about the gameplay is that little insulin part. So I give it mini two credit for making that whole insulin part. As you can see, there's an insulin monster. Those don't count as skins. We'll get into that uh, in the gameplay a little bit later in the, in the gameplay. Um, so the gameplay overall is a 7 of 10. Alright, so yeah. So let's now get into the cutscenes. And the cutscenes are amazing. Gives a lot of lore, you know? You know? Mini 2 and always clutches up with the cutscenes. He make, he sometimes makes the map like, okay. And then he clutches up with the cutscenes. Which he did here. But this time the map's actually pretty good. Anyways. <laughs> that scared me. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just pause. Pause. Pause the cutscene for a second. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just spectate Super Junior. Okay, he you've. Anyways. The cutscenes. The cutscenes were amazing. Just a scratch as you get a hold of yourself. And a distraction, you need to make a distraction to so Fred P5 and Pony can escape. Just like I said. And uh, that's basically it. It cuts into the beginning of the map. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the beginning. Now let's go to the end cutscene, shall we? This was the best part about it. So zizzy escapes and then mr stitchy and zizzy have a confrontation and mr stitchy's like i once was a child a very small child but that was very very like he didn't speak a lot and that is basically what his backstory is we learned more about his backstory and he says join me and your friends will be saved and she's busy was disagreeing so influence uh you know dude man was actually uh a human in the past you know like kind of life a little bit and he was a human in our world either a human or an animal in our world and he said he met a friend and the friend got jealous so he took him into his world which is very confusing but I bet you we will learn more about it in the future. And I have a theory about this. Theory coming tomorrow on who Dude Man is and who this other person is. We'll get to the other person in a bit. So, Dude Man, other person. He says that the other person is actually, like, the leader of the influence. And we know that because at the end, he takes us into this, like, white spot, like, of the map. And basically... He's speaking more to Zizzy, and then Zizzy meets Pony. And this is where Pony and Zizzy actually meet. We, I am guessing that Pony was not actually there, but theori people theorize that Pony was there. Which is very far-fetched, but mm, I don't think it's very true. Pony could have been there. Honestly, Pony could have uh, just been there in the insolence, but you never know. You know, you never know. Anyways... That is uh, basically what it is, and yeah, that that's basically what it is, the end cutscene, and this is the last part that is very, very, very exciting. Basically, the last part is, boom, boom, someone grabs his hand, and we don't know who it is, we don't know why, we don't know what for, and uh, that will just have to be answered in the next chapter, which is the last chapter until Inner City. Again, I will bring my predictions for Book 2, Chapter 12, and who Mr. Stitchy actually is in a later video, probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, but that's going to do it for my predictions. Again, leave a comment. I know I stress this a lot, but again, I want to see your guys' uh, you know, opinions on this chapter, how good it was, how good it wasn't. And I want to see your opinions, so uh, see you guys in the next one. Um, thank you, Super Junior Bates, for uh, getting into my game, hopping in, and making a video. It was very fun. Everyone uh, go ahead and sub to his channel. Sub to mine. But without further ado, see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And yeah, see ya. Bye.